So I thought we'd do something just a little bit different today. This will just be an unboxing and first impression video seeing as I just got this in the mail. We'll probably just look at the hardware and the physical features. What we have here today is a titanium green Samsung S24 Ultra. So looking at the box on the front, you've got the other models that are available on Samsung's website in the titanium blue, titanium orange, and what we have the titanium green. Now this phone comes at a starting price of $1,300 for the base 256 gig model and it goes all the way up to $1659.99 for the one terabyte version. Keep in mind that this is the flagship model for Samsung so it's definitely not the most affordable option out there in terms of phones on the general market today. So taking a look at the packaging you will see that it comes in a black box and if I shake it, it definitely feels very sturdy. There's no wobble inside. On the side here, you've got the Samsung. On the side here, you've got the Galaxy S24 Ultra. On the top, there's nothing. And on the back here, just some other important details. So let's get straight into it and open it up. Wow, that looks incredible. I haven't really ever seen a phone in this color. So let's take it out and look at this amazing green color. Here's the front of the phone. Looks like there is a piece of plastic on top. So what also comes included in the box is the data cable which I'm trying to see where that exactly is located and there should be an eSIM ejecting tool. Must be packed away on the inside of this. Yep. Looks like you've got, yep, just as I expected. Here's the data transfer cable, USB type C to C. Got a quick startup guide, terms and conditions. Oh, that actually comes out. Okay, interesting. Okay, so there's the SIM ejecting tool, which is a pretty neat shape. I'm not sure if they've always done this in this type of shape. It looks kind of like a water drop. So real quick, I noticed that this phone does a really good job of minimizing fingerprints if you were to use it without a case. But you can kind of see mine there. The back here, I think there's a coating on top. So yeah, you don't see any fingerprints at all. It's really neat. It's like a frosted glass almost. So the outer edges are mostly titanium and it definitely feels lighter than the previous generation. It's also got a 6.8 inch flat display which will definitely be a lot easier to install the screen protector which I've also got a Samsung version available right here. And so the corners are flat now versus the previous models which were rounded off, which I can definitely appreciate. It feels really good in the hand. It's also got a 120 hertz adaptive refresh rate and a 2600 nit peak outdoor brightness screen. So it gets really bright outdoors. Now the color reminds me of a pastel sage mixed with like a greenish tone. It's definitely on the muted end. You can hardly tell, like this is a clear white glass top and it almost looks white. And in some light, it does look a little bit minty green. But overall, I'm very impressed with this color and I can definitely appreciate it. So this phone has a 200 megapixel quad tele zoom camera and UI feature enhancements with AI. I'm very interested to use the generative fill features, which I've seen a lot of implementations in Photoshop, but it's such a game changer now that it's basically available in the palm of your hand and on the go. You also get that class leading S Pen, You also get 12 gigs of RAM and a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor and a 5000 milliamp battery, which sounds really good, but I'd be very interested to test that out in a full day's use with all the given features. And that's gonna do it for this one. I may dive a bit deeper into the user interface and test out some of the new AI features in the future. But if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more reviews. Let me know in the comments down below what you think I should review next. And until next time, peace.